So this might be the most meaningless video I've ever made, be not because of the subject matter being uninteresting or anything like that, but more so because everything that could be possibly said about two forts probably had already been said. But I figure, you know, this is one of the earliest maps added to the game. There were six maps when this game launched. Um, and this is obviously one of the originals, so I might as well get it out of the way first. But the problem is, is that every strategic, like, analytical, like, gameplay related thing ever has already been discussed with this map so i'm just going to give you like a quick nickel tour of the whole thing now you're probably going to find that most people that still play this game will be playing this map like it goes without saying that this is one of the most popular maps hell this is the most popular map this is the c sc dust or no that's not st what is it i actually don't remember what d dust i can't believe please forgive me d dust of like you know team fortress classic um, most servers are going to be third, like full with 32 people. I personally like this map with 24 people just because I feel with 32 people it gets a little bit too crowded. But it'll work just fine with the full server. So obviously the thing about 2 Fort, it's called 2 Fort for the fact that there's a fort. There's a fort. 1 plus 1 is 2. Or maybe it's 5. I don't know. Anyway, so the thing about the, the battlements here is that basically... You know, early on, you might be able to get across and, like, you know, actually get into the other person's fort to do stuff. But once the map starts proper, don't ever expect to actually survive getting across this normally. This is basically busy work, the map, like, this area right here. Where you want to have your heavy weapons, guys, and you're really, like, you know, like, the strong, like, you know, like, snipers here. Basically, just to prevent your player, like, you know... The enemy team from actually getting in and walking through your front door. Don't ever actually expect, like, to ever actually get through. Unless you're really good with conk jumping. And stuff like that. Basically, this is just going to be a stalemate on this bridge. Which is how it should be. Um. Now, anyone who's told you map will tell you. In this water down here. Or alternate area ways to get into your map. Or your, to the enemy base. Into your base, obviously. You'll actually want to try to take this way. This is where you'll actually get a lot of, like, you'll find yourself getting into the enemy base a lot of the time. Though, obviously, be careful, because the other team is probably going to be doing the exact same thing. So, let's take a look at uh, the red side here first. Here's the entrance way. Again, don't ever expect to actually see... Get in this way. Now, here's one of the spawn points. Is over here. We'll start from there. You know, obviously, don't need to say much about that. Get healed up and stuff like that. This is one of two. Get this nice little open area here. Now this leads into the sniper area, and if you've never played this map, or you're more used to the Team Fortress 2 variation, this is where you capture, not in the flag area. As a noob, when I first started playing this game, I remember so many times running to capture that by taking it to my where my flag is and just realizing, why the hell is it not working? No, capture point here, dumbass. Here's the other spawn point, and the, the thing about this spawn point is this leads you directly into the lower level so you can get right out into the... You know, main area, which is preferable for the heavy weapons. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of an RNG kind of random luck thing where, where you'll spawn. Um, the enemy team conk jump in. You got to be careful of this one. Because you get if you get your, like, scouts and, med, like, you know, medics conk jumping up here, they're going to make a beeline for one of, like, these two areas to get to the flags. Which, obviously, the, end, the bots here are smart and realize ahead of time that, you know, you want to build the sentries here. You go through here. We'll come back this way, and this is how you'll get up from the water area here. Uh, I, I highly advise not trying to get into here as the heavy weapons guy, because you're going to like start drowning. A lot of the solar castles just will not make it through here in time, unless you jump down right away. You come back up here. You know, obviously you'll want to watch this area here. Like, you know, I'm talking mostly the, the, the defending team. You want to have your, like, you know, maybe a sentry here too. Because if not, the enemy team's just going to get up this way. Although, that's a risky move because often you'll have people at building sentries here, so good luck trying to get your ass up there. But hell, if you get to, if you can get up there somehow, you got one of two ways to get into the uh, battlements or the, the flag area. You can take this way, which is actually the only way to get out of the... Um, no, wait, I'm stupid. I, can't, I always think this elevator only works with the one team, but I swear it works both teams. So you got two ways to go. But taking this way is a little risky because obviously, you know, everyone's going to be... Well, actually, both ways are risky, but I think this is the riskier of the two. 
because this is closer to the spawn than this one is, even if they're like pretty close to one another, you have more of a chance to get out. And probably the only time you'll actually want to try to, you know, you'll find yourself like coming on this side ever. You never come into this spot as a attacker, but you'll find it, you'll get you can definitely be coming out of it quite a bit. Now, obviously, there's a it's not a spawn, but there's a re there's a resupply here, which the engineers that are wanting to like defend really want to take advantage of. Now, for the engineers building shit down here, this is my pro strat. I don't know if this has been mentioned, but this is the one strat I always do. Have someone build a sentry here or here, and then have another engineer build the sentry. A sentry is like right looking out here, because what happens is, is that you know your spies or like you know your attackers. Well, no, the sentries are there, and they're going to chuck grenades there. But they're going to have a far harder time doing that if there's a sentry immediately looking at them. Like, hey, what's going on? You know, just to mess with them. And yeah, that's probably... This is the, probably this is the crappiest overview, like, strategic overview of this map ever. And I'll admit that, because again, all the pro strats, all the pro players that played this game and know this map like they know their firstborn will already have, like, the pro strats discussed with you. I'm just going over what I always remember. I always like the lighting in this version of the map, honestly. In Team Fortress 2, obviously, it's set during day. But I, I, I always dig this, like, kind of, like, sunset magic hour kind of look. It's really nice. Well, might as well be medic, just, like, old for old time's sake. You know, plus two, surprisingly, none of the bots are being, um, medics, which I'm actually kind of shocked. Didn't mean to throw a grenade. Let me remember which button does what here real quick. There we go. I already forgot my own ma mountain things, or mouse configs. Obviously, yeah, if you don't suck, you know, conk jumping, you can get right across that side, and I know, I know that the really hardcore people who play this game all the time will, like, end up bunny hopping and just go right to the flag room. The skill ceiling for this game is, like, infinite, as far as I'm aware. As far as I'm concerned, frankly. If I'm wasting these grenades, I'm just always paranoid someone's already imagined. All right. I'm always imagining, to finish up that thought, that someone's already waiting for me. They just know. Okay, never mind. I was correct. I, I knew it. I don't know why I fucking thought that this elevator worked. I'm so used to the Team Fortress 2 version of this map. Where, like, you know, you there's a staircase up there. Which probably better balancing-wise. But again, it does make it a little bit more interesting, all things considered. Actually, I don't even know what I'm saying. Never mind. I always liked waiting down here. Oh, crap. Yeah, in fact, in fact, well, that could have been better. Oh, well. But yeah, I always like that feeling when you're waiting around in the flag room and you just hear all the explosions going off from above. Yes! Well, I didn't quite do it pulled off, but that's, if you know how to bunny hop, then you can just build up insane speed and get this way. And just like zip around to the flag room. Oh, you fucking moron! Dumbass! I hate you, Glenn! Oh shit! Here's my chance! Yeah. If you're also not very familiar with this game, you'll notice that the medic is really goddamn fast. Um, it's quite a common knowledge that the medic is actually one of your main offense class in this game. I reckon if you're watching this video, you probably already knew that. But it's just such a, like, weird disconnect. Like, you know, when they're balancing the game, you never thought that, hmm... Maybe making, like, the one character, giving, like, the one, like, medic character who's supposed to be the healer, giving them really decent armor and health, really high speed, and the conk ability to, like, jump around and use a double barrel shotgun might not be the best idea for, like, you know, if you wanted them to be a support class. I'm not complaining, though. You know, I'm not usually one to be, like, re like really, like, follow what the game journalists and stuff say, but a lot I've seen a lot of uh, game journalists bring up something about this map. Especially the uh, Team Fortress 2 version of the map, where the part of the reason it's so popular, people find, is, um, you know, this is a great social kind of nexus, right? Because a lot of times these, like, the match will be a stalemate for a long time just because it's so well designed in the sense that, you know, every class is useful that a lot of times nothing happens. Again, even more so with the, um, second game's variation. So what ended up happening is that people stopped caring so much about the game and more so just want to, like, you know, end up, like, you know, hanging around, kind of. You know, they're still trying to play the game, but, you know, mostly just to unwind and stuff. 
You know, I don't usually like you know with like you know hot like certain like journal takes. I don't usually agree, but that's actually a pretty good thing because actually that you know yeah I did end up um like just spending my time in uh TF2. Also, this is if you didn't flub that, that's a good way for the uh, scout and medic to get around. If you want to have an alternate way of getting up into the uh, flag room, the bots have wised up a little bit now. Oh well, gotta keep trying. Yes! Oh, that would have been sick. I mean, I said during my overhead, like, kind of, like, you know, spectate, you never want to go through those front doors, or you never will. But again, if you can get over there fast enough, you will. I'm mostly, like, you know... I have never claimed to be some sort of, like, MLG Pro gamer at this. But, you know, I like to think I've played this map a few times. Oh, fuck off! I keep messing that up. i played this map, uh, you know, enough times to kind of have a, like, you know, a pretty solid grasp of the flow of it, overall. I don't know why I'm going out of my way to kill this guy. <laughs> well, that was a disaster. Also, my foot's falling asleep. Good. Yeah, but I don't claim to be some sort of hardcore expert. If anyone, like, comes to these videos and thinks I'm some some sort of, like, uber guru at this game, you are going to be really disappointed. I don't think I've uh, still once tried to... Well, that was a fl fuck up if I've ever seen that. I don't think I've once tried to heal my team members, and that's really the case with the medic at all times with this game. Like, it is possible, and if someone calls for medic, I'm gonna heal them, but whenever I used to play medic, which is a good chunk of the time, um, I, yeah, I didn't care, why should I? I have more b important duties, like, you know, getting the flag or whatever, or whatever the objective is. Here's my chance. Let's go, Spanka! We got, we got this! But I already bet you my, your ass that they got a fucking sentry built. Watch this. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I'm not part of this. Oh, they don't. Wow, what idiots. Uh, I'm probably not going to make it out, so I'm just going to try to get it as far as possible. Actually, if anything, the medic's faster than I remember. I don't remember them moving this fast. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, fuck yes! There we go. Okay, if I didn't fuck that up, that would have been a hell of a conk jump into the capture area which is a good strategy i don't need to tell you especially with the medic and scout but even like the if you're playing soldier and you happen to get and get in capture the or get the flag over here soldiers capturing the flag in this game aren't entirely unheard of especially because you know that's their main kind of role is being a general purpose offense anyway so you know a lot of times i've found the soldiers in this game end up picking up the flag when it's like halfway there so, you know, obviously rocket jumping up there is going to be a really good idea. Oh, it's got Mojo. I'm going to back you up. You got this because I don't got no more grenades anyway. I'll help you too. Yeah, let's do it. Go! Okay, fuck. Go. Spanka. Oh, Spanka's a soldier now. Maybe he was always, um... Maybe he was always a soldier and I wasn't paying attention. I swear he was a scout. Yeah, we got this. We're fucking dominating now. This is completely embarrassing. Never mind. I fucking can't conk jump worth a shit anymore. Excuse my language, too. There you go! It only took me a billion tries. Oh, fuck! There we go! Oh! Expertly crafted! Can we keep this going? Oh! Oh, my goodness! Keep it alive! You gotta keep it alive! Oh, what is this? Are you taking a chandelier and dropping it into the miracle grow land. What is a heavy weapons guy doing? He was like hovering like he was on a magic carpet. He was so utterly shocked that I'm coming this way with his flag. Goodness gracious. Someone slap me silly. Good lord. I am making every capture tonight probably. Which would be far more impressive if I wasn't playing with a bunch of bots. Let's be frank. Blue team just does not have the motivation. Oh my goodness. Well, that didn't work out, but still, that was another excellent jump. Shit! Damn it! I blue balled them. I fucking brought shame upon their family. Because I captured the flag so many times, so now they're going full, like, you know, defense mode. But it doesn't matter because they're still getting it anyway. Alright. 
Well, that fucking sucked. There you go. For once, I actually got a grenade kill. I'm not- not- I don't want nothing to do with this. Good, he's distracted. Let's go. L El Lobsteru! We got this. Where is the flag? Where is the flag? I don't know where the flag is. Where the fuck is the flag? Is it here? It is! Go! Keep it alive! Sometimes that's the only thing you gotta be able to do in this game. Is you gotta keep it alive. I, I brought this up in uh, one of these videos before, like, wait, last year. But, you know, that that's what ends up happening is that, you know, you gotta keep rushing once the flag's grabbed. Don't just, like, you know, don't be stupid and cautious. Because that's the thing in these games. That's the only- the flag resets no matter what you do after a minute. Goes back to, like, where it started. So if you could just keep it, like, hot. And, like, someone grabbing it constantly, it's not going back. You just gotta, like, you gotta be stupid. You gotta throw caution to the wind. That's how you, that's how you win games.